Hey now, this is video number 10. East Coast Gullwings 300SL replica body molds. Okay, got that out. All right, well, you see where we're at here is I have completed the inner mold for the hood and the outer mold for the hood. That is the plug right there. And we spin around here. This is a usable part. I have glued this together. Um, came out really nice. Looks good. No air bubbles. The, uh, the only thing, it's a little thicker than I wanted it to be. But I have seen, like a zero went on that. I have seen some, uh, some fiberglass pieces that people make and they're pretty thick and almost embarrassing. Um, yeah, I try to keep it thin so it looks more like an actual metal panel than a fiberglass panel. But it looks cool. Here's the inside. And as you can see, you know, it looks just like the one that I made the mold off of. Uh, the inserts are installed for the hood hinges. Uh, I did have a piece of sheet metal in there. And they're quarter 20 bolts welded inside and glued down with the marine adhesive. And if you're wondering what I glue this together with, I do use marine adhesive, the 3M. It's quick setting, which is to them 24 hours. Another plug I'd like to uh, talk to you about is a new epoxy primer that I found. Um, you know, of course, you know, I don't make any money off these plugs, just that when you find something that works, you like to spread the word. Um, CRE 321, and it comes with two quarts of catalyst, so you get about a gallon and a half of usable product. It is an epoxy primer that is high build and is sandable. Uh, and that's a first for me. I've never heard of a epoxy primer that's sandable. But it actually, uh, you spray it, you wait six hours, and uh, you hit that with 220. And it doesn't clog up the sandpaper. I wouldn't believe it if I didn't try it myself. I thought it was a bunch of bullshit, but it does work. Um, next to do is the trunk lid. And then I will work my way uh, to the doors. Uh, all the body work is done on these parts. I will be just spraying this. Uh, I will be spraying everything with the, uh, the new epoxy primer that I bought. Block sand it. And then thin out uh, some more of the epoxy thinner with some urethane thinner. And then hit it one more time for like a sealer almost. Um, because, let's see if I can show this to you guys here. You see that like wrinkle finish? It's, it's very, very, very minute. I mean, you can see my finger. I mean, it, that was... This whole plug was as smooth as a baby's ass. It was perfect. It looked, you know, I mean, I painted it white only because I could see my parting lines for the for making the molds. That's the only reason why it shows white. Um, I have ten other colors of paint I could have used, uh, but if I would have had this primer, I would have painted this whole plug with a primer, and I wouldn't have had this problem. But education is expensive, so you live and you learn. The problem is that all those little uh, wrinklies uh, came into the gel coat, the tooling gel coat on my mold, which I was a little concerned at first because obviously when I make a, a body, it will transfer, but the thing that is not to worry about is that the gel coat will have to be sanded anyway in order to... Um, you know, adhere to the primer that I'm going to use. So it's not a big deal. Uh, that is a good thing. So, what else do we have to say today? Um, I think that's about it. I do have a usable hood. Uh, I like my new epoxy primer. That's standable high build primer from PPG. And trunk is next. Doors after that. And then I will have a complete body, and then I, well, not at, no, no, let's, let's stop that right there. I do have to do the, I don't know, what do you want to call them, the, the, oh God, not roll pans, the side pan, the side pans that go, uh, the rocker, rocker panels. Uh, those have to be molded, both of those, 
and what else? We've got a dashboard. We've got some other little trinket pieces, interior pieces, the piece that goes in the, for a trunk, all that kind of stuff. Um, so there's, you know, ways to go, but we're getting there. Uh, I, I will, every piece that I make a mold, I will make a part and then I can put all this shit in a storage unit. Um, just so it's out of my hair, because as you can see, I'm running out of room here. And I probably got about 10 more pieces to make. Uh, each piece consists of, you know, inner and outer as far as the body for the two doors and then the trunk. So you got two, four, six more pieces right there. So I'll be up to my ears and fucking mold pieces. Um, all right, listen, like my videos. Watch all the ones before this. You see what, uh, you know, where I've, how far I've come and how far I have to go. All right, subscribe. Let me hear what you got to say. And uh, happy 4th of July. Ciao, man.